This is Extreme Makeover. I was teased a lot, actually. This one guy in particular used to call me Big Bird and ugly and speaker. I'm only 29, and I think my eyes, as I've gotten older, have gotten droopier and droopier. And I'm afraid if I wait any longer that I'm not going to be able to see. And it's pointy nose. Candace will meet her plastic surgeon. Dr. Garth Fisher. Hello, Hi. Candace. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm Dr. Fisher. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. What's really important to me is that my patients are fully informed, they understand everything, and that they're very happy with the result. So let's go over the areas that, that are bothering you. Um, I don't like my eyes as I've gotten older. They've gotten droopier. I feel like I just have like a flat face, like I don't have anything up in here. One of the things that would be really nice is if you lifted up your brow just a little bit. Step number two is maybe making your fold a little bit deeper, and that'll give you a chance to put some makeup on. One of the things would be to pull this eyelid up just a little bit to tighten it up. I don't think your nose is as much part of the equation as, as the other areas, mm -hmm. but you know, if you refined it and brought this down just a little bit, it might complement your face. And I think cheek implants would probably increase the volume in that area. Do they stay in place, like, for a really long time? I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. I'm just not wanting to, like, 10 years, like, like one year. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's not something that normally happens. <laughs> and what size bra do you wear? Now? Right. <laughs> uh, like, probably like a 36A okay. or 38, yeah. And what did you want to be? I don't want to be, I just want like maybe a full B or okay. a small C maybe. The most common problem associated with breast implants is what's called capsular contraction. That means getting a hard breast. You form scar tissue around your implant. Putting them underneath the muscle decreases the risk. Using saline decreases the risk. Massaging your breast decreases the risk. Limiting bleed. It was really great to hear. You're going to look great. You're going to look beautiful. There's still a part of you that says, gosh, I just don't think it's possible, you know. But he made me believe that it was true, that he could. I don't think your nose is as much part of the equation. Speaker. Who will get a nose job, a brow lift, new cheeks, lifting of the upper eyelids, lipo of tummy and love handles, and bigger breasts, and later, a dazzling new smile. It's serious surgery, and Candace is nervous. Hi, honey. Wish me luck. Good luck, honey. You can do fine. I've never done this before, so I... I'm just a little scared. You want to talk about it? No. I mean, I'm excited. This is why I'm here, but it's just hitting me. Thinking a lot about your surgery and preparing for it, and I think everything's going to go really well. I was not dancing last night. I was at home. <laughs> did, okay. Yeah, that's the big question. Did you get well, enough was, sleep last night? I got night? plenty of sleep. And, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be great. We're going to give you a little waistline in here. That'd be nice. We're going to go a little bit up into this area and then off to the sides. We're going to make this a little bit more narrow in this area, and then I think everything's going to go really well. Well, I just feel a lot better talking to Dr. Fisher. That just really just kind of settled my nerves down, so. Yeah, I feel, I feel a lot better now. Goodbye, old face. Goodbye, lumpy, crooked nose. Flat cheeks. Droopy eyes. Goodbye to all of it. See you when you wake up. And goodbye to Candace and all her painful past. We're doing Candace's breast augmentation now, and um, she's about 5'9", she's an A cup, and she just wants to have more options in clothes and look more natural, and so we're gonna be probably putting in a C cup. So right now we're dissecting out the pocket where the implant's gonna go, and then we're gonna try a couple sizes in there and see which one looks the best for her. This is a saline implant. It's filled to about 350 cc's. And then we just squeeze it right through this little hole. You get good at it after a while. We're going to do Candace's cheek implants next. We've got a large malar implant over here and no implant here. And you can see the added fullness that she's gained through this implant. Which after the plastic cheek implants, Dr. Fisher resculpts her nose. We're probably going to take some of the septum out to help her breathing also. Uh huh. Then lifts uh -huh. her eyelids and brow uh -huh. to get rid of her hound dog uh -huh. eyes. Oh, it's great news. Listen, we just got through with her surgery. Um, 
There wasn't anything about any of the procedures that uh, went uh, less than planned. I think Candace's surgery is over. We're here to take care of her, and uh, so don't worry about it. All right, thanks a lot. Bye bye. Good morning, Candace. Good morning. Now, I want you to keep your eyes shut so we don't we don't poke out your eyes. Go ahead and put your chin down just a little bit. Today, Candace will see her new nose for the first I'm time. Sorry. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. It looks really good. You've just got a little blue ink on there. Let me let you look in the mirror here. There you go. Oh, my God. Wow. A nice change. That's a big change. When I was growing up, I had no features. I, I had no cheeks, you know, no lips, no. I actually, like, have features. <laughs> this perfect nose and these cheekbones, and I have eyelids. Like, I can actually wear eyeshadow. <laughs> Just got that. Now, have you been massaging these? Mm -hmm. Okay, they look great, but I want you to be sure and push up. Okay. Push down. Okay. And squeeze. So when you squeeze there, you want to squeeze that implant. And push up and down. They look really, really good. Um, you know, these are my breasts. I still feel like they are mine. Um, they're just, you know, filled with stuff, <laughs> with water. Here's what Candace received. A nose job, a brow lift, new cheeks, lifting of the eyelids, lipo of tummy and love handles, 12 porcelain veneers, and zoom whitening. She lost 20 pounds and went from an A to a C cup. From beaker to babe in just eight weeks. You know, I'm just so thankful that I was chosen.